Morning guys, it's 5 a.m. here, just spent the night sleeping in the truck, and it's time to go wake Seth up. Oh. Hey, 5 a.m. <laughs> 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 yeah, I slept all right until about a half hour ago, and then a cop actually rolled up in the parking lot, and I was scared he's gonna come knock on the door. <laughs> Probably just saw me and was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> Looked like a homeless guy sitting in the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> right next. Yeah, just like bring it up over over here or something. And I'll just step on the front. Yeah, you might want to turn out, you know. All right. Okay, ready? I think I got this. Yep, he did. That's how you turn the light on. You can flip those real quick if you want. So we started off the day diving off one of the military base range buoys. And there's quite a bit of bait in the water, but the visibility is atrocious. There's just so many particles in the water that you couldn't see more than four feet and you couldn't see the end of the gun when extended. <laughs> Even though there was clearly a lot of fish life in the water, we decided to give up after only two dives and decided to go trolling and deep dropping for the rest of the day. People on all these sand marks. It's almost like coronavirus isn't happening. All these boats are loaded up. Look at them all. So many people. Oh, 
slow. We missed our turn and decided to follow Google Maps. And now we're in the middle of a farmer's field taking some farm road. And it's got more potholes than any road in Indiana. I have no clue what Google Maps is thinking. Okay, we're so you're just gonna come down like that. So you're gonna go, okay. that's your first cut. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're gonna go. I don't wanna cut myself, but kind of not sharp enough with a knife. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come and you're gonna cut down the backbone. I accidentally just crossed there. You can tell because I just went straight through, but you're gonna come down one side. Try to keep the knife angled a little bit. fish is usually the easier it is to fillet just because the, the meat tends to be denser because of the cold right mm -hmm. while, while the liquid stays close so you just want to angle the knife down at like a 45 and just like pull and saw through put that in the water downwards more towards your hand like this yeah. part of the blade and you have too far up like, yeah exactly yep, good. okay Ta-da! so yesterday we caught some bluefish which has got much darker neat meat than I thought it would have and we caught a Spanish mackerel which is about what I expected and so I'm gonna be cooking them up with this Street Taco Baja Fish Seasoning Mix that I just picked up at Walmart. And uh, here are the directions and the nutrition facts. I don't know if you can read those. Um, so I'll walk you guys through it. So the first step is just to pour it all in a bowl. I'm gonna be coating the fish in this. So coat the fish. So coat the fish. So we're going to need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. In the pan. Start with the mackerel. And then after three minutes, you're going to And then when you're done, just take it. Okay, so now we've got the bloodline separated from the actual fillets. And we can just put these in tacos now. I'm just gonna put some fish on. And then we have some mango and peach salsa. 
I'm just gonna put it on top. And that's our fish taco, pretty simple. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up real quick and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all our videos. It almost looks like a city out there, but it's just clouds.